From the Sophia robot that can hold a conversation, to Romeo who's designed to help with elderly care, there are plenty of robots who are designed to mimic human abilities. But some researchers are taking inspiration from other, maybe unexpected creatures. Ants. These robots are called tribots, and they don't have a lot of legs like you might expect from an ant-inspired robot. Really, they look like creepers from Minecraft. But it's because the legs aren't the point. Instead, these robots are inspired by trapjaw ants and their amazing mandibles. Trapjaws have powerful mandibles that can spring shut at more than 200 kilometers per hour. This launches them into the air, springing them away from danger. So forget the legs, tribots are basically all mandibles. They're mainly a printed, folded up circuit board with a few extra components. Then springs and actuators connect the legs and act like the robot's muscles, powering their jumps. By controlling the angle and power of the legs when they launch, the tribot can jump for height, distance, or to clear an obstacle. And for just walking on flat ground, it crawls like an inchworm. The applications of this are a little squishy, but tribots could work in industry, like surveying or spraying down a warehouse with disinfectant, or they might check if crops are ready to be harvested, a task where larger robots might cause more damage than good. Really, there are a lot of possibilities. Now, these aren't the first little robots, but they take a totally different approach from other designs. Similar-sized robots use wheels to get around, so they need additional hardware to jump. That means they end up with with lots of moving parts, which makes them harder to make and statistically more likely to break. But tribots get the same range of motion with just a handful of moving pieces. That said, since these things are so small, they can't get much done on their own. So their power really comes in their ability to work together. In a 2019 paper, researchers demonstrated this by having the robots move a block that was too heavy for one bot to move alone. To do it, the tribots coordinated by taking on different roles. One bot took on the leader role to coordinate the effort. Then, under the leader's instructions, two worker tribots got in place to do the pushing, while a monitor kept watch on the other side to measure how far the block had moved. Each bot had two infrared sensors they could use to talk to each other within a one meter range. But the signals couldn't get through the block, so a fifth robot became a messenger, relaying signals between the monitor and leader so that the workers would know when to stop pushing. One of the coolest things is, any tribot can take on any role, so if something goes wrong for one, another can jump in. And compared to other robots with similar mobility, the tribot is lighter and more energy efficient too. So while big human-sized robots will probably always have a place, the future of robotics might have some smaller players too all in the name of getting things done. This episode of SciShow was brought to you by none other than SR Foxley, today's president of space. SR is one of our patrons on Patreon, and along with our other patrons, they keep SciShow going. So thanks, SR, and thanks to our whole patron community. If you want to learn how to support the show and become our next president of space, you can go to patreon.com slash scishow. 